I just make excuses. And I think a lot of us do that. Those excuses are what can kill us. And uh, all of a sudden your health doesn't become a priority anymore. You know, because you got too many other things going on in your life. You know, like I've got a new grandbaby. Like why the hell am I not shaking myself and saying, come on, like what is wrong with you? You want to be here for Axel. You want to be here for Mason, my nephew, my great nephew. Like why, why am I not, why, I, I just don't understand it, you know? And I think it takes something like this to reboot you. Um, you know, it's it really it made me it reminded me of how precious life is. You know, um, for those of you that are new, you don't know, but my former husband passed away uh, suddenly from a massive heart attack and it was from a blood clot that's a massive blood clot that split and went into both of his lungs and put him into cardiac arrest. I found out afterwards when they did the autopsy that he was a ticking time bomb. He had an enlarged heart and he his heart was ready to explode like they told they said it was a matter of time and that he would have had a widow maker and it would have either killed him instantly or it would have put him in a veg vegetative state so that the way he actually went was a godsend at the time I didn't think so um and he was not he was not overweight he was thin like he was doing the sun run, which is like a couple kilometer run every year. Um, he was, you know, he was in good shape, we thought. We had no idea. So, you just never know. Heart disease is not just a big person's issue you know you can be thin as a rake and have heart issues you know you just don't know um so you've got to make sure that you get yourself checked out you've got to make sure that you are healthy you exercise all of that stuff you know got to stop making excuses. I have got to stop making excuses. And I've got to get my shit together. And I got to I got to be here for a long time so I can see my grandson grow up. You know, I got to be here for a long time to take care of George and be here for my kids and you know be here for my sister and my niece. So, yeah. Take stock of your life. You know, take, sit down and have a hard look at your life and your lifestyle. And uh, make that choice. You know, and that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm doing right now. So, I'm gonna go. <laughs> I gotta get to work. And I gotta get my crap together, stop crying. And, um, I gotta start making plans. And put a good step forward to getting my health back. So, I'm going to talk to you guys later. I love you all. Thank you so much.
so much for your support. Thank you for going to Nancy's channel. I'll leave her link down below again. Um, and sending her love and prayers. And uh, 